Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and in this video we will talk about yet another injury known as contusion. So contusion is a mechanical injury which is also known as bruise. So in the skin you will see contusion causes swelling and discoloration of the epidermis and causes extravasation of blood from the dermal vessels due to its rupture. Now how contusion occurs? Now when somebody punches you, contusion develops. Now in this scenario you can see that the force applied is blunt. Now there is extravasation of blood, there is swelling and discoloration of the skin and the discoloration or the swelling that means the contusion appears to have some irregular margin. Now as there is discoloration, now the change in color can tell us about the age of contusion. Now depending on the color change of the wound, we can age any contusion. However, you should remember that color change is absent in subconjunctival hemorrhage and initially when the blood extravasates, it contains oxyhemoglobin which appears red and in that point of time the age of contusion is only few hours. Later on the hemoglobin gives away all the oxygen to the tissue becomes deoxyhemoglobin appears blue by up to 3 days. Then this deoxyhemoglobin gets converted into hemosiderin and appears brown in 4 to 5 days. This hemosiderin again becomes biliverdin which is green in 6 to 7 days and finally this biliverdin becomes bilirubin and appears yellow in 7 to 12 days. Now factors that promote bruising include fair complexion, female sex and extremes of age that is in childhood and elderly. Bony prominences also promote bruising and the two features which are associated with elder age that is loose skin and thin skin can also promote bruising. Now based on the depth of the bruise we can have three different types of contusion. It can be intradermal, it can be subcutaneous or it can be deep bruise. Now this deep bruise takes some time to appear and hence it is also known as delayed bruising. Now there are certain type of bruises which are known as pattern bruises and these pattern bruises appear due to impact with a hard patterned object. For example, some, if somebody strikes you with a stick, the stick imparts certain amount of force or pressure, that pressure gets transmitted and this force is applied on the blood vessels from a sideways, sideways manner and that force causes extravasation of the blood in a centrifugal fashion and this extravasation of blood gives rise to bruising and this bruising appears like this. Now this kind of a pattern bruise is known as a tram track bruise. Another very popular pattern bruise is known as six penny bruise and it occurs in the neck due to the imprint of fingers when somebody holds your neck tightly. Now there's another type of bruise known as migratory bruise and this occurs due to trickling down of the extravasated blood down due to gravity. For example, raccoon sign. In case of the uh, fracture of the anterior fossa of the base of the skull, you can get a raccoon's eye sign where the blood gets deposited in the periorbital area and forms a periorbital bruise. Similarly, you can have a battle sign when middle cranial fossa or posterior cranial fossa gets fractured. So as the blood trickles down to a place where it can settle down due to gravity, it is known as a migratory bruise. Now it's very important to know whether a bruise is anti-mortem or post-mortem that is the time of infliction of the bruise. Now anti-mortem bruises have swelling, they are associated with epithelial damage, extravasation of blood is present, color change occurs and margins are irregular and marged whereas in case of post-mortem bruising you there is no swelling, no epithelial damage, no extravasation of blood, color change does not occur and the margins are very sharp. Now what is the medical legal importance of bruising? Now bruising, the pattern of the bruise can tell you about the weapon with which you have been hit and it can also give a time since injury based on the color change of the bruise. I hope by now you have got a fair idea about bruising and how it is a mechanical injury. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of medical school and by any chance, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Also for high quality notes and flashcards, follow me the Nerd Medic on Instagram and Facebook. The links will be in the description. Also for medicine related more content, find me on, the, you find, find me on YouTube and you can also get in touch with me with all these connection links that I have given over here. And for biology related content, I would highly suggest you to visit Animated Biology with Arpan channel who is a proud collaborator of our channel. Until then, bye-bye. See you in the next one.